The more presentations that we can get out of a single lure when we are fishing, in this case a fluke or a soft jerk bait, the more likely we are to figure out exactly what the bass want on this particular day. And this presentation is so simple, it almost feels like it shouldn't work, but it really does. So essentially what you do is you take a soft jerk bait, and I've got two of them here. I've got one made out of uh, complete Elaztec which is very buoyant and it will sit here and float a great big 5 watt EWG hook and then I also have a caffeine shad here which is salt impregnated and is very heavy and will sink so if we want it to sink um, in the middle of our retrieve that is a great choice so you just throw it out here and it works best on slick calm conditions and then just hold that rod tip up and then just start to reel it. And what you're looking to do is mimic a prey species, whether it's a shad or panfish or a minnow, whatever it might be, just really swimming alone, kind of unaware to the world, presenting that super easy meal. And this late summer into early fall transition is when you really start to see this. So if you're out there on the lake or you're in the river and it's, it's calm conditions and you see that lone bluegill, you see that lone minnow, even small bass, you know, three or four inches long, just swimming along without a care in the world, this is something that you're going to want to try. And between the two soft plastics, Okay, with the Elaztec, I can just ring, bring it along the top, leave it, leave it sit, and just leave it sit there and sit there, much like you would, let's say you were fishing a popper. And then if you give it some random speed, you know, with your reel, just get, get a little bit more of a crank, it'll kind of give a nice little tail kick and keep coming with you. If you switch over to the salt impregnated soft plastic, like the Caffeine Shad, it throws a really nice wake, it kind of, really imitates a wake bait but being fished just so so slowly and just that unaware bait fish swimming across the surface of the water uh, so depending on what you want to do if you want to use the heavier salt impregnated lure with a little bit more of a wake and be able to let it sink stop it and let it sink that is an excellent choice or if you want to switch to the elastic where you just have it float and you can pause it and it'll just stay there and then give it a little tail kick and keep working on its way. So both presentations are really effective and try mixing them into your soft jerk bait fishing this late summer and early fall. And it, like I said, it's just gonna give you another tool to really figure out what the bass want on that particular day. And speaking of soft jerk baits, if you would like to watch a video that goes into more depth on a fleeing bait fish presentation, which I also love, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.